Hello YouTube, in this episode of the Hypertrophy series, we're going to discuss frequency. I have actually spent quite a few episodes talking about volume and intensity. And at this point, I might have you convinced that they are the most important pillars of programming. But that would be wrong, and I don't want you to get that idea. In truth, there are three main components of the bulk of what makes up programming, and frequency is one of them. And in my mind, volume and intensity are not above it. And the reason for that is because, unlike certain other variables, like for example, tempo or exercise selection, exercise variation, you cannot separate volume, frequency, and intensity because they only can exist with one another. And when one is modified, the others are modified as well by virtue of them being interconnected. And I have seen around YouTube Fitness a certain trend that is going to put volume and intensity above frequency that also tends to lead to people saying that frequency is not that important. And to me, that shows a complete misunderstanding of what it is. I've already explained the difference between intra-workout frequency and weekly or scheduled frequency. So if you don't know what that means, go back to look at it. But today, I want to really dive deep into why frequency is so important for muscle growth. And you have to understand that this is going to be tied up directly with volume and intensity because, as I said, they're connected and they're really the same thing. And if you may, I'm going to offer a metaphor and a comparison that might, might sound outlandish, but is actually uh, very sound. For example, if you look at Christianity, we have the Holy Spirit, we have the Father, and we have the Son, which is God and Jesus. But in reality, those three things are the same. It's three entities that in reality are the same person or aspect of a person. And for volume, intensity, and frequency, it's the same. And this is the reason why I call them the Holy Trinity. It's because you cannot separate them because they are really the same thing. So, the reason why frequency is going to be so important is because it's going to dictate the amount of times in a week or in a day where you're going to repeat the action. And the action is going to be more or less intense and more or less voluminous. And that is going to be directly correlated with your ability to recover from it and is going to lead to muscle growth with time. Because understand that anything you do in the gym has a frequency. If you do a 3x3, three three, you've already dictated by the 3x3 three three the amount of intra-workout frequency that occurs. It's 3. You're doing 3 sets. So that's already set. And then you have to decide how many times a week you're going to do that. If you squat twice a week with a 3x3 three three each time, there, this is your weekly frequency. So it has been set. And it always is funny to me when I hear people say, oh, don't worry about the weekly frequency, it doesn't matter. Why wouldn't it matter? It matters just as much as the amount of sets you do, which is your volume, and the weight you use, which is the intensity. You cannot separate them. And across the board, since frequency is the one thing that is the most ignored, I'm going to say that it's what is the most important for natural lifters, because too many people think that it doesn't matter. And that is an idea that is propagated by steroid users for the most part, because frequency for them is a completely different topic for many reasons that I'll get into in a different playlist. But for us, you have to understand one thing. Your ability to hit a muscle often during the week, throughout the month and the years, is going to dictate your amount of progression, the amount of tonnage you accumulate, the stability of the tonnage, and the muscle growth that occurs. If you hit a muscle only once a week, I can guarantee you two things. Either you're sandbagging on a muscle that's already strong, or two, you're not making any progress. Because at some point, the only thing left that you're going to have in your arsenal to push progression is going to be frequency. Because there's only so much volume you can do in a day before you go above the maximum recoverable volume. There's only so much intensity you can put in because your strength is not going to just magically skyrocket. So at some point, when those two valuables are stalled and stalling, what else is there? Frequency. And it's also the big reason why, as a natural, you can keep progressing forever. is because you have those three gorges, those three levels, and you can play with them as much as you want to make sure that the tonnage always goes up. It's also the reason why I say tonnage is king. Tonnage is the king is the children, it's the creation of volume, intensity, and frequency. And since you can always have a level of control over these that promote tonnage, you can never stop growing. 
One thing I want to point out also is the idea that the amount of frequency in the week is irrelevant and that what is relevant is the volume and intensity. That makes no sense. And I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you're going to do, again, a 3x3 three three for the squat. Think about, it, think about it like this. Imagine you were to do a 3x3 three three on Monday, a 3x3 three three on Wednesday, and a 3x3 three three on Friday. Okay, that's your frequency. If I took all of those sets and I put them on the Monday, you would still be doing the same amount of volume. You would still be doing it at the same intensity. The only thing that changes is the frequency. Now, between those two people, who do you think gets the best gains? The first one. Why? Because they actually give themselves time in between sessions to recover. But that doesn't stop here. Because in reality, the second scenario I detailed is not realistic. Because you couldn't be doing a 3x3 three, three, three times. You would have to lower the weight. So you would be doing a pyramid set down, which would lower the intensity, lower the volume, lower the tonnage. On top of that, you would start being limited by your cardiovascular endurance. You would start being limited by the, the fact that you're going to not be able to go back to baseline. So the, the intensity window is not going to be relevant, etc., etc. All of that because you refused to spread out sessions and you decided to think that frequency didn't matter. This is what I try to call out here. The ability that you have to dispatch the training that represents really volume and intensity somewhere else during the week is extremely important. And as you understand, as I described before, if you have the ability to recover from one session to the other, you understand also that this is much better because it gives you a better ability to just separate yourself from the training and assess gains. If you do all of your volume in one day, guess what? You're not giving yourself any amount of distance with the training to be able to observe what happens. It's this day where you do everything and then you'll do the same next week. And the type of people who do that are either on juice or they don't progress and they don't know why. And the reason is, it's not a good way to train. For people who want big legs, for example, for people who want a big back, naturally, the best way to do that is frequency. In my opinion, you need to get to a level where you train your legs every two days. That's, for some people, high frequency. But in reality, it's normal. If you have an upper lower template, you can run it six times a week. That's three times legs per week. This is how you grow big legs. And for the upper back, I would go as far as to say that five times a week is important. Why? Because you will find that in a session, you might be able to go back to baseline and not be able to get any type or amount of meaningful volume in because you just can't get to a relative intensity that is actually co correlated or connected with the absolute intensity of your max abilities. But if you wait just one day, the baseline goes back. Why? Because that body part has an immense ability to recover and to handle volume on the long run. And that's the big thing too. Some body parts are going to struggle to stay muscular endurant during the day for a reason X or Y. But if you gave them just 24 hours and you hit them again the next day, now they would be fresh again. You could be diving deeper into that baseline, let it recover, etc., etc. The upper back is the best example for that. Try pull-ups, try some sort of throws every day and tell me what your upper back does it's going to grow, it's going to respond to that frequency. And therefore, you cannot ignore that aspect. It is paramount to your muscle growth. You cannot just put it to the side. And the issue is, and you've already understood if you listen to what I just said, is if you ignore frequency, in reality, you're ignoring volume and intensity because you're ignoring parameters of those two principles that are very important. So you're not just putting the food uh, principle to the side. In reality, you're also limiting the ability you have to manipulate the number one and number two, which are volume and intensity. And that is going to be, across the board, a big mistake. And this is something that I spread in my videos and especially the hypertrophy series. Be very wary of people who tell you that entire portions of programming can be ignored. People who preach only high intensity, people who preach only high volume, people who preach low frequency or super high frequency, but who completely disregard volume and intensity, all of that is unbalanced for the simple reason that it just doesn't work like that. It's the equivalent of trying to do math and just ignoring one third of the formulas. At some point, all of the formulas are interconnected. 
you're going to run into a problem that you will not be able to solve because the limited amount of knowledge you have just does not permit you to do so. And across the board, that discussion around frequency not being important is one of them. It's a misconception. It's a misunderstanding because, of course, frequency is extremely important and it's key for muscle growth. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to get down to the topic of frequency more often and discuss it with you more and more, especially for specialized topic. But if for now you have a question in the comments that you would want to have answered, just post it down there and we'll get to it with the rest of this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.